Hey, what's going on guys? J Jamal TV HD. Um, it's review time yet again. Shout out to Brooke for sending this out for me to review. Um, yeah, it's the Pocket Auto Catch. Um, now just from what I can see on the wristband, I mean on the front page, it looks like a wristband that you wear and I'm assuming it automatically catches the Pokemon so you don't have to do that in the game. I guess you just walk around and this does all the work for you. I don't know. But um, let's pop it open. You can, you guys can pause that and have a read of that if you want to. Um, this is the first video I'm actually doing on my Pixel 3a, by the way. So let me know what you guys are saying about the quality. But anyway, yeah. Looks like we've got a USB charger there, which looks cool. Um, I mean, it doesn't look cool, but, you know, that's what it is. <laughs> so I'm going to just leave that down there for now. Um, let's tilt that a bit more. What else we got in here? Hold up, hold up. Here it comes. Here it comes. Um, got got that as well. That's the actual the unit. Oh, okay. Brooke got the got the logo going on there and everything. Got a Brooke done. No, the done. No, this actually pops out from what I understand. There he goes. That's the unit itself. Okay. Mmm. And then you, it's touch sensitive, obviously. Um, no buttons around it. Um, yeah. So all touch screen things. So cool, cool, cool. I'll just leave that um, to the side for a second. And this is just the wristband. Looks like it's got some adjustable kind of strap thing there. So it's got, you know, does it fit on my wrist? Let's see that because the rest of this video is going to be very awkward if it's not made for those double XL wrists. Let's, let's see what we've got going on here. Okay. Can we make it happen? Can we make it happen though? Oh, just about on the last strap. The last dot or hole, whatever, just about fits my wrist. I'm going to leave that there for a second. I think we had some instructions going on down here as well. So let's have a look at that. Um, it's looking a bit mad, actually. Um, yeah, those are not in English. Let me see the other side. Yeah. Yeah, those are not in English. So. Um, oh, no, we got English here. We got English here. Okay, cool. Um, let me work out which way the instructions work, guys. And I'm I'm gonna install. I think I've already installed the app on my phone. Anyway, got the Pokemon Go going on there, so I'm gonna pop that open. And um, yeah. Oh my days. Can we, can we turn that down? Okay, yeah. I'll pop that open, and we'll see what's going on there. Right. Okay. Cool. 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 Enter my date birth. Right. Let me do this bit, guys. One sec. All right, we loaded up the Pokemon Go. Um, it's been a while since I played this. Literally, I played it for a long time when it first came out, and then I kind of fell off. Um, so yeah, gonna have to try and work out how to do everything. Um, I gotta go to the settings, which I believe is in that little Pokeball there, and then go to settings at the top. Um, and then I gotta go to. It says something here about Pokeball Plus or Pokemon Go Plus. Wait, let me just. Which one was it? Hold on, wait. Oh, oh god, hold on. Guys, it's all a bit mad. Okay, so it's saying something about changing modes, auto collect Pokemon, or auto collect Pokestop stuff. Okay, okay, so we need to go up here to Poke, Poke Go, Pokemon Go Plus? Alright. Wow, okay, cool, cool, cool. What is this? How do we get out of this? Okay, Pokemon Go Plus. Um. Then what? Oh, available devices. My thing should come here, I think. Oh, there we go. I just pressed it and it came on. So, turn it on. Let's click on that. Pokemon Go Plus enabled. Success. You can now start catching Pokemon and spinning Pokestops. Am I going to have to go outside? I'm going to have to go outside, aren't I? Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to go outside. Okay. Right. You forced my hand, guys. I'm going outside. I'll go outside. I've just noticed some new modes. So, you can tap through these modes here. That's a Pokestop thing, that's a Pokeball thing. That's a question mark thing, don't know what that is. Let's hold it down. You have to hold it down to select the mode. Okay, I'll put on the question mark thing. Vibrate, it will vibrate. Send something to the phone. Don't send something to the phone. Send something to the phone, okay. So let's get it catching Pokemon. Oh. Okay. So it should be catching Pokemon and Pokestop stuff and whatever that is and it should be vibrating. So 
I guess I'm gonna just go out on my bike and um, see what it's saying, guys. See what it actually does. Alright, so this is what we're doing right now. We've got the vehicle. We've got the, um... Oh, it's not motion sensing like that. Alright, so let's plug this thing in. Is it connected? Let me see if the thing is connected. I think it should be connected still. Is it connected? Connecting to Pokemon Go Plus. Alright. It's hard to do this with one hand. It's all, it's all a bit mad, to be honest. Connected to Pokemon Go Plus. Alright, we're good to go. So I'm going to just ride around. And hopefully this thing should just do the rest, isn't it? Alright. It's doing some shit again. I don't know what it's doing. It's doing something. Okay, I'm at a poker stop. It's doing something now. What is it doing now? Is is it catching something? Poker in range. Whoa, it's doing its own thing right now. Poker stop in range. It's got something. It just got something from a poker stop, I think. Bruv, this is this is all wild. It's happening way too quickly, bruv. There's a next one down here, so I'm gonna walk to this one and we're gonna see what I go on. Uh, we're going up to another poker stop, poker stop in range. What the hell? I didn't even do nothing, but it's just caught everything on the poker stop, fam. It's done it all, and it's vibrating right now. It's going zzz, 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 zzz. and Snorlax was caught apparently. Bruv, this thing is this thing's got a mind of its own, you know. I'm not even doing nothing out here, bruv. But yeah, that's how it works, guys. I'm gonna go home now because I've been outside for too long. So I thought I might as well do the rest of my review on the bike. Um, it's quite lit, guys. Um, I mean, it takes the fun out of, you know, doing everything with the Pokeball and throwing the Pokeball and stuff like that. You literally just have to have the app open and then, just like that, it will start doing stuff and on here it will say it's doing stuff and on here it's still vibrating. It's all very mad. Like, it's all very automatic. Um, I guess it's good if you want to catch Pokemon whilst you're on your bike because now I don't even have to touch my phone. I literally just wear this starts vibrating doing its own thing like it's doing now and um, next thing here it says that something's been caught or Pokemon in range that's it look it's giving me stuff and I don't I don't even know what this stuff is it's just giving me all this stuff I don't even know I'm not even doing nothing <laughs> it's mad